Hello students and professionals. So this video was made for all of us to learn about mathematics. Let's talk about the logical connectives. Statements are constructed by combining one or more propositions. Just like in your English subjects, you are combining two sentences to create another sentence or statement. Compound propositions are formed by connecting the propositions using logical operators or the logical connectives. So in logic, we use the logical operators or logical connectives. In the English subjects, we have the following connectors like but, and, either or, neither nor, whereas, while, more so, provided that, and others. So in logic, we have the logical connector. So we have five, the negation, the conjunction, the conditional, the biconditional, and the disjunctions. So these five connectors are the ones that we are using to create logical uh, statements. So let's start with the first one. Negation from the word negate. Our symbol is this negation sign or in other books or other references, this is the symbol for negation. So the word that we are going to use is the word not. Okay, to imply negation. The truth value of a statement implies the falsity of the statement opposite to it. So, if your statement is true, it will become false. And if your statement is false, it will become true. So, let's have the following example. Sumaging cave is in Sagada. Is this true? Yes, it's true. Sumaging cave is located in Sagada. And if we are going to negate this statement, Sumaging Cave is not in Sagada. So the truth value now will become false. Next one. Rodrigo Duterte is the vice president of the Philippines. Is this true? Okay, so this is a false statement or false proposition. Then, if we are going to use the not, Rodrigo Duterte is not the vice president of the Philippines. So, the false value a while ago will become true. Third one, 8 plus 5 is not equal to 15. Okay, 8 plus 5 is not equal to 15, that is false. So, it will become 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. So, our original statement is not equal to 13. Then we are going to add not. So, 8 plus 5 is not, not equal to 13 okay so the not word now will be removed so 8 plus 5 is equal to 13 so the truth table of negation is this one if our statement is true the negation is false so a not a is false but if your statement is false its negation is true okay so that is negation next we proceed to conjunction so english subjects they have conjunction also and in logic we have conjunction using this symbol the inverted v okay so that would be our symbol and we are going to use the word end there are other words related to conjunction but we are going to focus first on end the only case when a conjunction is true is when both the conjuncts are true. So let's see its truth table. Here, we have first statement A, second proposition B, and then we use the conjunction, it will become A and B. So according to the definition, the only case when a conjunction is true is when both the conjuncts are true. So look at this, true, true. True and true, it will become true. Any other combination will be false. That will be false. Okay, so let's take a look some examples. Baguio is the summer capital of the Philippines and Manila is the capital of the Philippines. 
Baguio is the summer capital of the Philippines that is our A or our first conjunct and we have Manila is the capital of the Philippines that is our B or our second conjunct. Let's go with A. Baguio is the summer capital of the Philippines. Is that true? Okay, so that's true. Manila is the capital of the Philippines. Is this true? Okay, so that's true. So if A is true and B is true, our truth value is true. Okay, so we have there the first one. More example, Filipinos are Asians and Lee Min Ho is a Filipino. Filipinos are Asians will be our A. Lee Min Ho is a Filipino will be our B. Filipinos are Asians. Is this true? Okay, that's true. Lee Min Ho is a Filipino. Is that true? That's false. Okay, so according to our truth value here, true, false. So our answer will become false. Next one. 8 minus 13 is equal to 2 and 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. 8 minus 13 is a false statement. Then we have 2 plus 8 that is a false, uh, that is a true statement rather. Okay, so the combination is false and true. So we have here false and true, still the answer is false. Next one. 7 plus 4 is equal to 12, and 1 plus 1 is equal to 11. So what's the truth value of this? That A is false and B is false. So false and false, that's still false. Again, the only case when a conjunction is true is when both the conjuncts are true. So this is the only case that our answer will be true. So that would be for conjunction. Now we have the disjunction. So for the disjunction, we have this as our symbol, the V. For the conjunction, inverted V. For the disjunction, it's V. So the word that we are going to use there is OR. Again, there are more words, but we are fo going to focus more on OR. Okay, so this is our truth table. So what can you notice on our truth table? So there are three true and then one false as our final answer. So if you're going to notice, if you have false false statement, that is false. Remember that our word is or. So you are going to choose. You can choose either of the two. So if a statement is true and true, whatever you choose, that is true. True and false, of course, you are going to choose the true statement. So that's true. False and true. Again, you are going to choose the true statement. That's true. For the false and false, there are no other choices. Either way, it's still false. Okay? So we have here, the only case when a disjunction is false is when both the disjuncts are false. So if A and B, both A and B are false, that is false. Let's have the examples. 5 plus 20 is equal to 25 or 4 minus 20 is equal to 16. So that's true. The second one is true. So the first conjunct is true. The second conjunct is true. So that is a true statement according to its truth table. Next one, Duterte is the president or Duterte is the vice president. Duterte is the president. That's true. Or Duterte is the vice president. President, that's false. So these two statements cannot happen at the same time. Okay? It cannot happen at the same time. So you have to choose. So therefore, the truth value is true. Next one, 8 minus 13 is equal to 2 or 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. The first disjunct is false while the second disjunct is true. But still, the truth value is true. Then the fourth one, 7 plus 4 is equal to 12, or 1 plus 1 is equal to 11. So both the statement of both these junks are false. No other choice. You can just get false. So the answer is false. So that is for the disjunction. Let's proceed then to conditional. 
So for the conditional statement, our symbol will be this one. One arrowhead to the right. Okay? And then, if, then. So if, if, then statement for our conditional. And, that, that, and then the truth table of this is this one. So we have the first proposition implies the second proposition and then its truth value here. So look at this, guys. So you have true, true, and true, and then you have false. So the only thing that the statement is false will be the true-false combination. It, uh, otherwise, they are all true. Okay? So true-false, that will become false. The other combination, that is all true. So according to our definition, the only case when a conditional is false is when the antecedent, the antecedent is our A, is true, and the consequent B is false. So that's the only time that it will become false. So let's have these examples. If it rains, then the ground is wet. Let's say for example, it rains, and it's true. The ground is wet, and it's true. So therefore, it will become true. Letter B, if it rains, then the ground is wet. It rains, that's true, but the ground is not wet. So that's false. So our statement will become false. Next one, if it rains, then the ground is wet. Okay, there's no rain, but still the ground is wet, that is true. Then the last one, if it rains, then the ground is wet. So both are false statement, but in the truth table, that is still considered as true. So that is for the conditional. Let's proceed to the last one. We have the biconditional. So the symbol for the biconditional is this one, two arrowheads right and left. And then the word that we are going to use is if and only if. So the shortcut that they are using here is IFF, if and only if. So let's go to its ta truth table. Okay, so we have A, B. A, if and only if, B. Okay, so look at this, guys. So what can you notice? It will only become true if they are the same. Look at this. True and true is true. False and false is true. Even if they are both false, it's still true. And then if they have different values like true, false, and false, true, that is considered as false. So just like the rule of multiplication, rule of sign for multiplication, positive times positive is positive, negative times negative is still positive. Positive and negative is negative, negative and positive is negative. Okay? So according to definition, the only case when a biconditional is true is when both the first and second conditionals have the same truth value okay so they have the same true true then false false so that will become true otherwise they are false let's have the examples basau is in mountain province if and only if alab is in mountain province okay so basau is in mountain province is true alab is in mountain province is true so that's true 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 if and only if 4 plus 2 is equal to 7. That is a true statement with a false uh, conditional. So that would be false. 4 plus 2 is equal to 7. Of course, that's false. And if and only if 2 plus 7 is equal to 7. That is a false and true combination. So that's still false according to our table. And the last one. Busau is not in mountain province. Busau is not in mountain province if and only if Alab is not in mountain province. Okay, so Busau is not in mountain province. Okay, so that is in mountain province. Then Alab is not in mountain province, so that's still considered as false. But the truth value is true. Okay, so that ends our presentation.